This is Coyote News. Hello, I'm Cooper Seamer. Tonight on the Red Report Sports, Denny Sanford is once again putting his name on everything. And I'm Cecilia Gillen. We'll get to that story and more, but first... As the first week of early signing period comes to end, there were 58 signees committed to the Coyotes. But there was one notable recruit who was unfortunately unable to sign with the team. Self-proclaimed senior James Aboot was ready to commit until several red flags came up in the recruiting process. Upon finding his listed education as definitely not the University of South Dakota, the recruit actually turned out to be former USD president James Abbott. Abbott says following his cover being blown, quote, I just miss USD so much I had to find a way to get back in, unquote. The Summit League released this week admits officials made a statistical error during a Coyote volleyball game earlier in the season. During the game on October 7th in Brookings, official ruled that senior Haley Dotseth not only reached 1,000 kills and 1,000 assists in her career, but that she also earned them all against South Dakota State. Upon being brought to the league's attention, they responded by looking at the Jackrabbits record and saying, quote, sounds about right, unquote. USD Athletics released a statement today giving the real reason for the upcoming dome renovations. Athletic Director David Herbster says there will need to be more seats for an influx of former Nebraska fans that will likely flood the dome after giving up on the 4-8 team following yet another disappointing season. Failing to meet lofty expectations again, Herbster says he welcomes the new fans to meet a much better team. With his feet now under him as the head coach of the men's basketball team, Todd Lee is in search of an even more important part of his career, his nickname. Lee opened the contest to fans to submit and vote on what his new nickname should be. So far, the leading vote-getters include the Todd Father, I Todd, Toddy McLeeface, Todd Lee presented by Danny Senford, Two Lees and a Todd, and Todd Squad. The results are expected to be announced in time for the team's next game on Saturday.